Clemson is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Brought down at the 34. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. They'll bring him down behind the line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Kendrick waiting the return. Got the corner. He takes it at the 12. Clemson's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And down he goes, around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Complete. He's got room. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 44. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From the 44-yard line, first down. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check mic 45, check mic 45. Go! Motion, motion. Motion. And he's tackled right away. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. 24 is the mic. Go. 
Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third That's down. when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Clemson is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And this is no good. He didn't have the leg for it. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. First down. He might have a chance. Nice run there. That makes it second and two. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. Sirach picks up about four yards with a catch. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. Nice run up the middle. Carney picks up about seven yards on the run. That makes it second and two. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Third and five situation. Ball on the 28-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Wake Forest could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Powell fields at the goal line. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. And he just gets rid of it. And he's tackled at the 47. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Five wide. You'll get it again. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good to have been five yards. That brings him second and five. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He heaves it deep. And he holds it in. To the 10.
gets the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-3. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Well, the Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like that. Throws it deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Kendrick on the tackle at the 36-yard line. Third down. Nice play across the middle. He's hit and taken down. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. That's good for That brings up second and nine. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 20. 36, 36. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. Check, check, check. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. Sets them up with a first and goal. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He might have a chance. Breaks one and scores. Quarterback has made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. Wake Forest is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Across midfield. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Inside give. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. 
Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down. 45's the mark. And he shoved out of bounds at the 38. From the 38 yard line. Third down. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Wants to go long and does. And he got it to the sophomore. And he tacks on the extra point. So a four play, 83 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Throw in left. Grabs it and he might go the distance. He's on the run. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. In yards. That makes it first and 10. And now he's got room to run. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of six and one. That'll bring up second and three. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it turn one. Talk about scoring. A huge first quarter by both teams. The Tigers lead 14-10. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. First down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 23-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick strike, and he drops it. Fights forward to about the 20. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. That brings us fourth and seven. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Clemson is up by four. He fights forward to about the 23. That makes it second and eight. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Down the middle. And it's incomplete. Lay the intended receiver on the way. 
That'll bring up third and eight. Hey, check flag 45. Check flag 45. Slings it. And down he goes around the 29 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Hinton is the deep man awaiting the return. Hinton fields at the 29. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. First down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He steps out at the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's out of bounds around the 43 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Makes it to the 27. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. Tackled in the open field. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That's good for a game three yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it hits the upright. No good. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Clemson is up four. Makes it out to about the 49. First and 10, ball on the 49. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down at the 29. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers.
Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. That's a loss of four yards on the play. Fourth down. Clemson holds a four-point lead. It has the distance, and it's good! <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He's got the corner. Across the 30, brought down at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he hauls it in. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Wake Forest is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Got some open field. And they make the stop right around to 40. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 40. Good open field tackle. That's a team that's well on the play. First down. They'll bring him down. That's the 47. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Looking for his man, incomplete. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. 
Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Clemson could take the lead with this field goal. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up. They head to the sideline with nothing to show for that drive. This game is all tied up at 17. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. Incomplete. Under heavy pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. Complete. Touchdown. Big play. He makes the PAT. Potter is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He goes out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Green gains four yards on that reception. Second down and six. Ball on the 28. Five wide. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man in and out of his hands. Kendrick is back awaiting the punt. Yeah. 
Tackle made at the 36. Lawrence's reputation really precedes him when you talk about how he can lead a team, but when you see him in person, you really feel it, Kirk. It's a different, completely different feel when you watch him in person, and it has a lot to do with the intangibles that he brings to the table. I mean, there's examples here in his first half where he's been able to help his team, not just being able to throw the football or make good decisions, but just helping guys get back into the huddle, kind of patting guys on the back, trying to get this offense to believe in themselves, and almost just willing this team to a victory. So far, he's done all those things. Clemson is up seven. He wants it all going long. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. He hauls in his second touchdown catch. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he tacks on the extra point. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel. Sure, they're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. You've got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. They've got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. But let's also give a lot of credit to some of these wide receivers. They're finding the holes in coverage, doing everything that they need to do to be able to be in sync with their quarterback, and that's resulting in a lot of big plays for this offense. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 45, check by 45. Go. 164. 164. Oh, check, check. Quick throw to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 35. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From their own 35-yard line, second down. There he goes. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. And he converts the extra point.
They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Taken down in the backfield. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, third down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 48. And for Lawrence, he's given the defense a lot to worry about. Boy, he's really the X factor. Just when the defense thinks they have him contained, he's able to break away and improvise and pick up 20 more yards running. Well, all of his efforts have given them a comfortable advantage, and a win looks to be in the bag. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ready, Green 95! He's tackled at the 40. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Here's an opening. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That makes it second and two. Taken down at the 23. From the 23 yard line. First down. And now he's got room to run. And down he goes around the 11 yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, start offense. offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty will make it first and 15. He throws a dart to the right. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Lawrence gains around two yards there on the option. From the 14-yard line, it's third down. Toss. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. What more can we say about this guy? Five touchdowns on the day. 
He's got great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. And as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 57-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Clemson coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. That makes it second and two. He's got his man across the middle, and he's taken down at about the 45. He wants it all, and he got it to the 20. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Wake Forest is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Nice run there. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Caught and is quickly shoved out of bounds. He's hit right away. They're about four yards away here on second down. Caught and he's hit immediately. That'll bring up third and four. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. From the 36-yard line. First down. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the six-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. He 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Got his receiver, touchdown. And for Ross, he's got three touchdown grabs. This receiver has just been unstoppable. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Number 26 makes the touchdown at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. Tackle around the 41-yard line. Number 46 on the tackle at the 49-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And a quick throw. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Brought down around the 30-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. This is the eighth play of this drive. On the throw, incomplete pass. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's tackled at about the 11. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's taken down at the three yard line. That makes it second. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he's stopped behind the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he throws it away. It's up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Clemson looking to build on this commanding lead here. Around five yards there on the option keep. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Call it a game of four yards. That'll make it 31. Man left, man left. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers are up big. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I pray. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes his way to about the 42. First and 10. Ball on the 42. That's a great tackle at the 24. the 24 yard line it's first down Clemson looking to add to this big lead here fires across the middle they get on the board again touchdown Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. They'll spread the field with five wide. He scrambled. Dives for extra yardage. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Five wide. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out right around midfield. And that one's incomplete. 
The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Here's a quick throw. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's in, touchdown, Tigers. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Tackle at the 21. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And down he goes at the 19. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field. And they really shut him down that time. Throws in the middle. And they hit him in the backfield. That pass play goes nowhere. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here. And he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Kendrick fields it at the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Clemson looking to put this game away if they score here. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Makes it to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. And for Ross, he makes it 100 receiving yards. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. situation here. It's third and one. He might have a 
chance. Makes it out to about the 19. Clemson with a commanding lead. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he tackles him hard at the nine-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And your positive yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. That brings him second. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Played a great game today. Close it out with some dignity. He makes the PAT. A 10 play, 48 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he got all this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I don't expect any once in a lifetime rallies here but that being said we could still see some exciting plays less than three minutes in the game Rose complete and he's hit right away The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Hinton was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and three. Kendrick fills at the 31, and he just got drilled. Lawrence's day has been a memorable one. I don't think it's any surprise. Looks like they're going to roll to a win, Kirk. No, he's demonstrated that he is far and away the best player on the field. And his team's happy to have him, obviously. We expected a great game from him, and that's exactly what we saw. And now he's got room to run. He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Clemson! <laughs> The Tigers sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. 
And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. Number 47 makes the stop at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 36. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First and 10. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. From the 36-yard line, second down. Nice play across the middle. Tackle made at the 16. Number 19 brings his down at the 16-yard line. First down. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Brought down at the 15-yard line. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he adds the extra point. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's at the 30. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Clemson up big right now in this one. Got some open field. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 21. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. The Tigers know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.